Dear students, welcome to another session on the introduction to biostatistics. We have discussed several terminologies associated with the biostatistics in previous classes. Today we can discuss some other terminologies associated with the arrangement of data. What is meant by data? Data are some numbers or measurements collected from an experiment after the observation. Here you can see the examples. Maybe data may be on population, birth, death, life expectancy, temperature of the place during a week, or marks scored in the class, or runs scored in a match, whatever it is. Data can be of two types, primary data and secondary data. If the observer directly collects the data from the original source by an experiment or by the personal effort, it is called primary data. See, is collected by the investigator, investigator from the personal experimental studies, that means from the original source, that is called primary data. You can see another context where the primary data is available by an interviews uh, or some surveys or on anything, any aspect, smoking or alcoholism without conducting an experiment. You can see. We can collect the primary data. See, the secondary data can be obtained from some secondary sources, not by an experiment, not by primary uh, effort, or not from any primary sources. See here, secondary sources such as journals, magazines, newspapers, etc. Here, secondary data can be collected by anybody, not only the researcher. Now, another terminology is inference. Inference is the conclusion about a population from a random sample. Means we have discussed what population is and what uh, sample is. From the population, we'll select some sample and from the sample, we'll get an information. And from the information, we will make a conclusion. That conclusion is called inference. That means the final uh, observation or the final result is called or the final conclusion of an experiment is called inference. In other words, is the conclusion about a population on the basis of the information contained in a sample. See here, different ways of arrangement of data. Arrangement of data is essential for deriving information from it. Otherwise, you will not, will not get any idea from a data. Only a properly arranged data can give an inference. Example. Imagine there are thousand people in a village. Do we get any idea how many people do agriculture or how many people do business from the data that there are thousand people in a village? No. But if we are given a data like this, a properly arranged data like this, we will get an information 220 people do agriculture, 210 people do business, 160 people do education and so on. That is the importance of arrangement of data. In order to get a conclusion, we should arrange the data properly. See here, raw data. Now, if we are getting only some data without a proper arrangement, that is called raw data. When some information is collected randomly and presented, just, just presented, it is called raw data. Example, the body weight of 20 male rats, just given the body weights of 20 female rats is the raw data is not properly arranged but it is called an array if it is arranged either in descending or ascending manner see here the same set of weights of the 20 male rats are arranged in the ascending order now it is called an array then what is meant by range the difference between the highest and lowest value of the observation in an array of data is called a range of data. See here, with the same example of data, we can see what the range is. The highest value in that experiment was 134 and the lowest value 91. And the difference between 134 and 91 is equal to 43. So 43 is the range of data in the given sample of data. Now what is meant by tabulation? Tabulation is the arrangement of data. Process of placing classified data into tabular form. 
is called table ash. Or we can see symmetric arrangement of statistical data in rows and columns. What is meant by rows? Horizontal arrangement is called rows and vertical arrangement is called columns. So a tabulation may be simple, double or complex. We can see what they are. Types of tabulation. Simple tabulation or one-way tabulation. If only one characteristic of a population is considered at a time during tabulation, it is called one-way tabulation. Here the example, tabulation of data on world population classified as per only one characteristic, that is the religion of people. It is called one-way tabulation. If it is considered or it is based on only one characteristic, that is called one-way tabulation. If it is based on two characteristics, for example, religion and language, it is called two-way tabulation or double tabulation. And if it is based on many characteristics at a time, it is called complex tabulation. For example, religion, language, sex, literacy, etc. We can discuss more ways of the arrangement of data in coming classes. Okay, thank you.